this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Since last time, I finished the level grinding that I was doing, I got the hero up to level 22, but more importantly, I got the light sword for him. You can buy it back at the village of Wellgarth. It was that underground village that had all the keys that I got there, so did handle that. We're back at the uh, village of Toon there, because we gotta head to the Tower of the Moon here. So let's check it out. Remember those statues for later, viewers. Just something to keep in mind. But anyway, we've gotten all the crests that we can. Uh, how many do I got? Yeah, we got four of them. We can't get the fifth crest for quite a while. So we need to find a way to get into Rome. In order to do that, we need to get the Moon Fragment, which is right here. And fight some new enemies. Puppet Man! They're like Mud Men, except they have more HP. So we want to make sure we can take them out. Uh, Gwen, yeah, put the uh, vampires to sleep! There we go. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the enemies in this area are starting to have more and more resistance to spells. So, well, we just gotta be careful with what we use on which enemies here. So, starting to get a little more strategic here, just so you know. Uh, now, Gwen should pretty much be using the Staff of Thunder full time now. Because, uh, well, she doesn't have any better attacking spells right now. So, Or use sleep whenever an enemy is weak to sleep. Less and less enemies are starting to get susceptible to sleep. So, eh, yeah, our HP is fine. Let's head up these stairs first. Let's see, in this chest, what do we get? We get some gold. All right. Uh, also, since last time, we learned the heal all spell. Guess what that does? Yeah, new to Dragon Warrior 2, it restores you to your maximum HP. A single target. If only we had a multi-targeting healing spell in this game. Yeah, they'd probably just give it some dumb name like Heal All of Us. Well, this game does have a multi-targeting healing spell. Sort of. I'll explain that later, viewers. And we got those two chests. So let's head on back here. Now, basically what I'm doing with the healing here is I want Gwen to be in charge of the healing for a while, even if it's not that much, simply because, like, I could use a heal spell, which would be cheaper. But Orpheo is really using his Firebane spell a lot now, so I want him to be doing that, and Gwen really isn't using that much HMP at all. Like, he, she's just using it for sleep, and then she's using the Staff of Thunder for uh, attacking, so let her do all the healing now. And she's got more MP to begin with. I almost said HP again. And ignore all those paths, they lead to dead ends there. Let's head on over here. Or, no, we want to head down there first. Sorry, I was thinking of the next floor there. But anyway, in this chest we get some gold. Awesome. Oh, by the way, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. The uh, light sword that I got here, little known fact about it, or at least I didn't know about it. If you use it as an item during battle, it'll cast surround on uh, all enemies, not just a group. So that's pretty nice. Oh, here's a metal battle. Let's see if I can take it out. No, no, can't do that. Oh, well. Totally not worth it. But yeah, so using that light sword can be useful from time to time, but I personally, I, I use it on a couple situations, but generally, eh, could be worse. But anyway, uh, if you go to the right there in the Game Boy Color version, I think you can get to the roof that, with the chest that has a, uh, what is it, the uh, wizard's ring, but not in this version, it's empty. And I did not know this, you can open those doors with the silver key. I always thought it was a golden key because they were red doors, but I forgot the border is silver colored, so I guess I could have done that back at that other tower there. And we got another metal babble here. Come on, take him out. Eh, nuts. Oh, well. Uh, Orpheo also learned the uh, Increase spell, which increases the defense of all your party members. Totally not worth it in this version of the game. Uh, they didn't figure that one out until uh, Dragon Warrior 3, or no, 4, but yeah, even in Dragon Warrior 3 it sucks. But anyway, we got a new enemy here, Horks. I don't think I showed them off earlier, but anyway, uh, aren't they susceptible to fire? Huh, maybe not as susceptible as I thought. Ah, there we go. Just got unlucky, I guess. But anyway, they can blow sweet breath, which I don't know how that works, but it puts everyone to sleep, and that really, really sucks. So, uh, yeah, use Firebane here, because we got multiple groups of enemies here, and then just go all out. 
Uh, fire pretty much is the way to go. I really hope she doesn't die while we're here. There's another enemy here that I guess I'm not going to be able to show called Evil Eye. And they're just like the Mud Men or the Puppet Men or whoever. They dance and I don't know how an eye dances. You got me on that one, viewers. But they essentially drain your MP. Just like they always do. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to take them out anytime soon, so let's heal up there. Nuts. Come on! There we go. Hmm, maybe I should have used heal all. Now, well, just keep on going with the Staff of Thunder. There's no way you can wake up your party members, by the way. You can't hit them yourself to whack them upside the head to wake them up. You can't, uh, there's no awake spell or anything like that. You get put to sleep, you're screwed! Not a whole lot you can do about it. And unfortunately, Dragon's Bane does not protect against it. So, yeah, not a whole lot we can really do about that, I'm afraid. But anyway, we uh, took care of those guys. Let's see. Antidote. Gwen. And eh, maybe I could have had her do that. Yeah, probably. Oh, well. Don't worry about your MP. This tower is relatively short if you know what you're doing. But, yeah. Usually, if you're playing this game without a map, you probably want to be over-leveled, but I'm probably a little under-leveled, but I guess I got lucky and didn't run into too many of the really hard enemies. Okay, so, we got the Moon Fragment. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, you don't have the outside spell, do you? Yes, he does. Okay. And, let's see, let's return. I hope that takes me back to Astrofair. Yes, it does! Okay. Well, I want to take a moment to uh, rest up at the inn here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. So let's head on over to the Sea Cave. I actually do want to do some level grinding before going there. I want to get up to level 22 for the Prince of Kanak there. And uh, yeah, that should take me up to about 80,000 experience. Uh, I would also like to purchase a Shield of Strength for him if I can. It costs 21,500 gold. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got a ways to go, but, uh, well, I might get the money for it. We'll see. But anyway, in order to get to the Sea Cave, go to Astafair, you head southwest here. Alright. Now, we can't get to that cave because it's surrounded by all those shoals there. But what we do, there it is, the Moon Fragment. Take the Moon Fragment, I guess hold it over your head like Link does in any Zelda game, and now we can enter the Sea Cave in order to get the Eye of Malra. Next time, and let's play Dragon Warrior 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!